Alright guys, just got through working on a project I started almost a year and a half ago and put the new wings that I had modified on my free wing uh, F5. Uh, second set of wings, These, those are the stock ones right there. And I got a second set and I wanted to try an idea with a different set of flaps on a Fowler kind of standoff situation. Let me get my radio here and activate it. And, of course, I added Daybright LEDs all across it. I'll flip it over here and let you see it in a minute. Uh, but the big thing was here, I added leading edge slats or leading edge flaps like the real one had here. That are actually in my radio, they're mixed. Or I can individually control them. without the um, uh, mixing on here. So anyway, I've got a little paint drawn here. I just got through touching it up because I was routing the wires for the uh, LEDs on this particular set of wings since I didn't have them on there. But uh, anyway, came out pretty sharp. I was, uh, turned out better than I ex expected here. Also had to add screening underneath my vent here to keep it from picking up some fod, but once again, there's the slap mod, if you want to call it, or leading edge flap mod to my Tiger Cat, and a slight change, different hinging setup on the flaps where they're not hinged right at the hinge line on the bottom. On the bottom. But that should allow me to slow it down and fly it a little slower to increase the lift since it'll change the camber of the leading edge of the wing. Now it's hinged from the top. Uh, basically it's the LX design from, I got the idea from my MiG-29 and I didn't like the gap that, the V gap that sits here in the bottom. So that is a piece of flexible photofilm, basically real thin plastic that stays contoured to the uh, wing. Now I also added auxiliary ordnance here and I'll slide that on here real quick to each wing. And these are just using the free wing standard set from a lot of their 90 millimeter jets. I um, actually did this almost two years ago. This plane's been sitting kind of unused for a while. I've had my attention on other new planes that have come out, but I kind of turned my attention back to this one. And I also put a new fan in this. This is the this plane, which sounds so much better and gives it so much more power after I did my first test flight this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. is actually the FMS <coughs> 80 millimeter fan. And the sound is so, is a lot different than the uh, stock free wing fan. And it actually has more power. Uh, especially in the vertical climb. And I am not I don't do a whole lot of vertical, but I did test it out. I know a lot of other people have already done this. but And I did fly it with all the ordnance on it today. Whoops, almost forgot one more. It kind of gives it its look here. It does get a little draggy when I got the drop tank on it. I get a little waggle a little bit when I get kind of slow uh, up on it when I'm flying with that center line drop tank. But that's the slap mod. Now then, I'll try and set this down and see if I can just turn this over real quick. I love these new FMS airplane stands. They sent me one. Here about a week ago and I've been trying it out I'm using it for everything I'm actually getting rid of my old stands because I like this one a lot better anyway there's a that's a 6s 5800 roaring top 35c that's in there it's not sitting on the CG um, I've actually got to re-CG the airplane because the FMS fan in the back is a lot lighter than the uh, stock freewing fan 
so um, I dropped a lot of weight in the tail so now I can now I can actually uh, reposition my battery plane lost about 500 grams of, of overall weight when I changed out the fan and uh, also I, I did change out the ESC I'm running the Predator ESC on here even though it would have been fine with the uh, free wing 100 amp ESC that I had upgraded to I believe the stock is 80 but you need a hundred for it but uh, looking pretty sharp I'll go ahead and close it all the way up here I'm doing a little touch up to the uh, canopy here to keep it from gatoring I actually popped a little hole right here in the top and in the back and I've got two holes here to allow air to go to exit out into the um, open avionics bay and goes out through cracks and crevices on the bottom of the airplane but uh, there's no air exit for any of the hot air that builds up here in the summer in the canopy and that'll try to help it from gatoring um, a little bit uh, and on top of that here's another thing I did I cut the nose off did magnets with a with a blocks a centering block so that I don't have to worry about breaking off this skewer and I can constantly leave it on without having to pull it off so I just turned the whole nose cone into a removable nose cone mod that's been done several times before over the past several years by lots of us anyway it's a good idea plus that allows me to stand the airplane up straight down on its nose when I gotta stand it up against the wall or something out of the way but there's the lights you'll notice that I have working side lights day bright LEDs these are actually just standard LEDs the LED on the bottom is a standard LED and this is an LED with a lens that I cut in half to give the lens effects and the wire is actually embedded in the middle of the uh, vertical stabilizer and then pops out with all the other wiring that's underneath here and runs right along the channel up here uh, this was actually the first mod, I and you've seen I've done this on many other airplanes, including that that uh, FMS F-18 right there. Lemon 10 channel. There's actually a free wing version 3 controller down there in the bottom. And I just moved my satellite uh, earlier this morning. Because I didn't like its position where I had it up here because the battery was blocked in it. It was actually mounted right there, but there's too much in the way. So now it is mounted in the nose, up in the nose area up here where there's very little electronics and it's just foam. So this is actually the one that picks up the stronger in antenna. So I moved the uh, satellite, whoops, I'm trying to watch the camera and my finger at the same time here to here. To give me better reception. I did have a couple glitches and I've kind of attributed that to uh, bad radio reception. It was only momentary, but the plane did kind of jerk and roll. But I've been touching up doing some paint and getting ready of the new wings and took it out this morning. Flies great. You can really kind of, you can really high alpha and slow it down for the guys who like to just fly it around. This is a beautiful flying airplane. Free wing did fantastic on this plane. I love it. Uh, one of my favorites. I'd like to do one of these up in the uh, blue aggressor scheme like I did with an old Star Max with VFC 13 since when I was at Miramar in the Navy Reserves that was actually a unit I was attached to and uh, at the time we actually flew A4s uh, TA4Js and A4Fs and I, I know now they've converted to uh, the F5s and, a, and, and actually a few F16s is uh, what they've gone to from the A4s but I'm kind of partial to the A4 one of the things on my uh, want list from uh, Motion, we'll probably get in that A4 and doing it up in my squadron colors later. But I really like the A5, and I'll show you the slap mods again here. You'll see that it's hinged right across the top here, so it's almost invisible. And it just drops the wing down enough to change the camber to make the wing look thicker than it actually is which is what it was intended to do even on the on the real airplane hope you guys enjoy and there's my modifications on my free wing 80 millimeter f5 did quite a few of them but this is actually one of my favorite airplanes
so much so that I actually have a spare still in the box. Should anything happen to this baby, this baby. Talk to you guys later. See you on RC Groups and YouTube.